Connie, the painter photographer, right here, giving you a video that you're gonna just woo over, not even kidding. Making these. Are you ready? Find me at thepainterphotographer.com. I'm on Facebook at The Painter Photographer. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel because if you don't, you're gonna miss out on this. See you at the end. Take your IOD clay and your IOD molds. Sprinkle them with a little cornstarch so they don't stick. Just flour it like you're flouring a cake pan. Roll your dough, your air dry clay, and place it inside the mold, flattening it out. There's a micro rim edge that helps you control where you the pull clay off the is. Excess using that micro rim as your guide. And you wanna make sure you put your clay right back in the bag because it will dry out really quickly. So while you're working on it, throw it back in that bag. Smooth out the backside so it's nice and flat. Turn that mold over and peel it right out. Now I place my molds onto my four inch wood blank. And I put the hole to the top and I cut off the mold, leaving a lot extra on the sides. And you're gonna continue to do this until you fill up that entire four inch blank ornament. Take your wood glue and I put mine out onto a sheet of plastic and a paintbrush. I removed the bottom trim piece and added glue to the entire back side of the mold. I then placed it onto the bottom of the four inch wood ornament blank and I removed the next piece. I added the glue while my husband took a razor blade and cut around where the wood blank was. We continue to do this process all the way to the top of the wood blank. I glue one, he cuts it. I glue the next one, he cuts that one. And it made it a little bit easier that he could see where he was going when the one trim above it was removed. So I put it on there. I centered the trim mold onto the wood blank. That's why I left quite a bit on the side so that I could make sure that it was kind of centered. And that then he would go ahead and cut that off. After we removed all that, I'd take my finger and I would smooth over those areas to make sure that everything was smooth and rounded because you don't want square edges. You want more rounded edges and uh, work that clay to where I needed it to be. I turned it over, used a bamboo skewer and made the hole through the front side of the clay flipped it over and made that hole a little bit more perfect. Now I use the DIY white swan, 
and the ornaments were dry. The IOD clay I let dry for 24 hours and I really put that DIY clay based paint on thick to get into those open areas where I had a little bit of cracking and it just really adds to the character of these ornaments when you have a little bit of cracking. So paint them all up, filling in all those gaps. Another 24 hours, I added weathered wood and sprayed it, really soaked it in there with water and made it very, very runny. And I wanted the white swan to be very dry. So it's been 24 hours that white swan has been put on. So it's very dry. I mixed that all up and made that watery paint. It's so high pigmented that you can use it as a water-based. And uh, I sprayed my ornament and went on with the weathered wood. And with it being so watered down, it goes right into those crevices and brings out the detail. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. Woo! I added a few more colors to the other ornaments. I used blue iris, bohemian blue, and of course, my favorite, old 57. So you can watch as I made the rest of the ornaments in the exact same way as I did the weathered wood. Another 24 hours, I used pennies from heaven, watered it down as well, and uh, made sure that it was very watered down, sprayed the ornament. Oh, don't you love that color? Sprayed the ornament and then went right over top with the watered down pennies from heaven. And it just goes right into those crevices and gives you a little bit of a glimmer. I added clear and black wax to these and look at the details. Oh, they are just amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. And you'll take your own trim molds or if you don't have them, you can find them at www.thepaintingphotographer.com. Look at that detail. The DIY paint is also on the website. Gorgeous. I was so excited. Scream. Ah! It worked. Because they're beautiful. Are they not beautiful? Thank you. And until next time, happy painting.